Hello everyone, I am Veos and welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video. In today's video I want to make more of a NASA style moon base. And when I mean when I mean NASA style, I mean like Apollo kind of moon NASA style. You know those old paintings where they have modules landing on the moon with the gold foil lander? When I was younger, that kind of thing really really brought out the nerd in me, you know? But anyway, so I thought it'd be cool to try to mimic that kind of style, mimic that kind of design. You know, like that one series, uh, For All Mankind. I actually have not seen it yet. I know, deplorable. What is wrong with me? But I have seen bits and pieces on YouTube and it looks pretty cool. Now, several versions of the Crane Rover were built. I had a lot of problems trying to get the robotic parts to respond correctly. I think it was about the third version before everything was finally ironed out. Because when you're operating a crane, and this is sort of, I'm kind of, I'm kind of talking from real world experience here because I'm a heavy equipment operator in real life. I operate an excavator, which is like a crane, but not really. What? But in order to lift something off of a truck bed, a crane needs several different joints. Not just up and down and left and right, but it needs to have the ability to extend outwards. And of course, it needs to have like a wrist to articulate the cargo. Picking it up and putting it down is all great and everything, but if you want to have more precision, then you need to build more joints in at the tip of the boom. And yes, they call it a boom. I've not really figured out why yet, but that's what it's called. A boom. Boom. Very boomy. I actually discovered by accident that I had to set the docking port force to about 10%. If I had left it on 100, as soon as they docked the crane and the cargo, it would leap up into the air and then slam onto the moon's surface. That was just the Kraken being the Kraken, so yeah. So yes, once that was finally ironed out, I simply launched a bunch of missions to the moon with different types of modules, power, food, a command, living quarters, science, that kind of stuff. Just a base, not a colony, but just a base. And I think it came out pretty good. I wanted to make some rovers, but I ran out of time. But regardless, I think it came out pretty damn good. Oh, and there was a moment where I brought down the last version of the rover crane, and I went to go pick it up with the old rover crane and I accidentally lost control of the rover. I didn't mean to. That was a boo-boo. I boo-booed up. <laughs> <clears throat> so somehow, unfortunately, we had an out of control rover crane that was making big loops towards the base. I did not want to see my base destroyed, so I called on the help of, I think it's, what was his name? Right there. Yeah, him. The legendary Kerbal. And we went on a daring, dangerous mission to try to regain control of the rover crane that had gone Mustang. To be honest, I didn't think it was going to work, but holy crap, that was cool. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please leave a like to help with the YouTube algorithm. And if you really, 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 really like this Kerbal Space Program video, consider subscribing. I try to upload videos every, every week, and if I don't have time to make a video, then I stream, which is pretty cool. A lot of fun times, good times. In this day and age, good times are desperately needed. And if you really, 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 really like this video, we also have a membership. If you become a member you get emojis and badges cool looking little stuff pretty neat check it out but anyway that's all the time i have for today thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for being a part of this channel love you all stay safe and i'll see you in the next video bye for now bye bye